We're on, baby. We are on day one of official van life, full-time travel. So this is day one. Been this morning over to We Buy Any Car. Luckily, they've bought the car. So that's all gone. It's the last chunk of the jigsaw, isn't it? So everything's now in place for us to go off and do this full time. So it's currently Thursday and we are heading south. We're going down to Ferry Meadows. We don't have to go to work anymore. How do you feel about that? Um, I've got to say, yesterday, I mean, we were allowed to leave about, I don't know, two o'clock, but didn't get out of the building till four. Yeah. So many people to say goodbye and, you know, what you're doing and hugs and, and yeah, it was just most, one of the most bizarre days of my life, to be honest. I, I can't put feelings on it. I'm, I don't, I didn't feel sad. I didn't feel jubilation, you know, I, <laughs> finished and <laughs> I, I just felt, I don't know, maybe it was just a, a big sigh of a, re, a relax. Yeah. Knowing that we'd got there. Yeah. First thing Darren done, as soon as we got up yesterday morning, was turned all the alarms off, the, all the work one, you know, like on your, on the iPhone and it set your, your time set and it's like for work. First thing Darren did was delete. <laughs> it was four. Yeah. Delete, 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 delete. Gone, all gone. <laughs> all gone. But then we had to set the alarm this morning because we had to go and sell the car today. So, so yeah, so that's all gone. Work's gone. It was a sad day yesterday. I thought it was a very sad day. Um, we know that some of you that are subscribed to us watch us from work, so thank you very much. Um, and you know you can you're gonna miss Darren loads so carry on watching YouTube you'll get to see loads of him <laughs> a different character from what he is at work honestly yeah. not so horrible <laughs> quick little update of some of the things we've done we've been up to Thursk and we've had the Alu gas bottles fitted so that's all done so we've got brand new gas bottles in we were at the point where we wanted to do them anyway, so that's gone. We've had a, uh, an external fill point fitted, ready for Europe, and we've had to buy some new fittings for European adapters because they're different yeah. to how the safe fill yeah. adapters work. Apparently one's a right-hand thread, and, uh, and these new ones are a left-hand thread. We've been up to York then last weekend, well, it was the weekend before, wasn't it? And we yeah. sorted all our stuff out, so that's, what we didn't need to go to Europe has gone to my son's and he's looking after that for the next three months now while we're off. So all the heavy stuff that we don't need, winter coats, fingers crossed we don't need, <laughs> uh, that's all with him to look after. So we'll pick that up when we come back in February. Well, where else are we at? No, and that was it really. It was, it was all, all working towards, moving towards the final day at work. And then the last piece of the puzzle this morning was now we don't need the car is to get that sold off. Yeah. Um, and that's it. So we're away. And that's it. We're gone. It's my first time in the motor home for absolutely ages. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I mean, you was in it this morning. Wait, well, yeah. But drive, you mean as a, as a passenger? As a yeah. passenger. Because we, I've been driving the car wherever we've gone for the last two months and Darren's been driving the motor home, obviously, so it's really weird to be back in here, driving, well, sat as a passenger and not driving anywhere now. So time for me to put my feet up and chill out and relax and enjoy the journey. <laughs> yeah. Home, James. <laughs> no, it's time, it's now time that you can start navigating. Ah, you're gonna love it. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be fun. Yes. With Cass Cass, <laughs> as we call her. <laughs> Cass Cass Navigation. It's got a lot better, I've got to say, over the years. 100% reliable, me. <laughs> it's like, okay, maybe not. It's debatable, that one. Yeah, I mean, that's just, just talking about that. I mean, we've got this Avtex Tora 2, 
and I'll be honest with you, you know, the, the vehicle set in in there, the dimensions, the weight, this, that, and the other, and it still takes us down some dodgy roads some days. I, I don't recommend this one. I'm not saying I don't like it, but just it's a bit dodgy to sometimes. So I think today is it's Peterborough was for us it's a couple of hours um, drive down the A1. Um, nice and easy pace, somewhere, it's like a stepping stone for us really, isn't it? Yeah, we weren't too sure how long it was going to take with getting the car sold, so we booked the first appointment, hoping that we were straight in, straight out, but you know what it's like with these places, sometimes it can still be there well, for hours. I'll be honest so. with you, everybody in the dog wanted to sell the car this morning. Yeah. Yeah, there was loads of people coming. So. without walk-ins, without appointments. Really? So, yeah, that's why I'm, I, we, I took so long, or the lady took so long, is because of the walk-ins. There was five walk-ins at the same time as my appointment. So she kept having to stop what we were doing. But right. we got through it in the end. Yeah. So it didn't take that long, really, did it? So She could see I was getting agitated. You agitated? Because I was like, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> One of the other things that we've done this week, and I did drop a note on Facebook about it, uh, was the motorhome insurance. We've just been in, got the motorhome fully insured now, so we're, we're for, is it 365 Touring, I think it was called, yeah, isn't it? that's the term. It's the term that they seem to like. We've got a care of address. Yeah, so we're now with Adrian Flux, and was absolutely no problem at all. It's, it's a little bit more expensive, we were expecting that, um, and our excess is a little bit higher in the event that we would ever need to make a claim. Um, but apart from that, we're now fully insured for everything, and, um, and I did make a comment on that, you know, these insurance companies, if they can get out of paying in the event that you do need to make a claim, they will find any way to well, do that. Oh so. We're now fully updated with our jobs. I'm now semi-retired. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, so we're, we're good to go. We're, we know that we're fully covered now. We've got all the insurances done. We've got red pen and for European breakdown, haven't we? And we've got our health insurance. We've got everything. So as far as all of that kind of stuff goes, we're, we're absolutely spot on now. I booked the Dartford tunnel yesterday. Crossing. Crossing going out I've not booked one for the return because I'm not sh we're not sure which way we're going to go back when we come back so it all depends doesn't it that's the big plan really I'm now on a quick task to edit this and get this out to you today hopefully fingers crossed if it's not it'll be on tomorrow um, but I'm hoping fast fast time edit just to get this up to put a video out as to where we're at right now um, and just on that, we just want to say thank you to everybody that's subscribed to us and following us on the journey. Uh, we had some amazing comments yesterday through Instagram, Facebook, and I, we literally haven't had time to reply back to every single one of you and say thank you. Uh, it, it really does mean a lot to us to get such huge support for, from you guys. So, yeah, don't forget to, to like this video, comment on the video, and hit that bell for some notifications of our travels. I tell you what we do need, any recommendations for the travel through either Portugal or Spain? Yeah. Any, any really interesting places? Yeah. Because we've got no plans. No. We're on the tunnel, we've got to get off in France, we're going to go down probably towards the Loire, Loire Valley, the, the southwest. We've got no idea where we're going at the minute. Nope, no idea at all. So um, if you've got some recommendations... Drop them in the comments. Yes. Uh, we'd, we'd love to. We've never ever done France. I mean, apart from going through France to head north out towards Germany, that's the only time we've ever touched France. So if you've got anything that's going southwards towards Portugal, Spain, Cassie, even through Portugal. Yeah, Cassie loves bridges. And, no, I don't. And high things. No, so stay away from them. <laughs> I can just see it now. Oh my God. 
going to be painful. What's that? What's that thing that um, extreme motorhomers do with a with a via ferrata? No, not no, doing you, none of that. Like that. No, well, no. You've got a safety net. No. If you want any kind of extreme stuff, go see extreme motorhomers. They are absolutely into all of that kind of stuff. You will not get that from this channel. Well, certainly not with me. If you want to see Darren do it, feel free to drop that in the comments. <laughs> I ain't got any boom, gear. Boom. I, ain't, I ain't got any gear. <laughs> I can't afford any more weight. Uh, <laughs> we'll have to do it without. <laughs> can't afford any more weight, what? Uh, In the motor home? Yes. Oh, right. <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> so on that note, I think we're going to leave it there. We'll see you um, in the next video where we'll be hopefully somewhere really, with it's quite interesting Christmassy yeah very Christmassy so we'll see you next time catch you now see you later